Ugh. Holy moly, I've aged 50 years since I went to bed last night. How does that happen? Let's put makeup on. Let's make ourselves feel better. This is simple, easy, quick makeup for over 50 women. First thing that I have done is my skincare. I'll list everything that I've used in the description box and I'll pin it in the comments so you will not miss a thing. Next thing that I'm going to use as a primer is this. This is the Aborian CC Cream. I absolutely love it, will not do without it. It is my absolute go-to every single day. It is in the shade Claire. It's a fabulous product that evens out aging skin, skin tone, sun damage, you name it. It is a little miracle product. It comes out white and I just sweep it on all over to create a very lovely base. Can you see, if I get close, you can see this lovely, lovely glow. It's hard under the studio lights, but it's so nice. The next thing that I'm going to use is the tried, tested and true Maybelline Eraser. This is the under eye concealer. Um, I know a lot of people use these for contouring. I haven't tried that yet, but this is just going under the very corners of my eye. I don't put my concealer beyond this area because you don't want them to sink into where your creases are corners of my nose, corners of my mouth, and just a little bit under my chin. And I'm just going to pat that in. And with my ring fingers being very gentle under my eyes, pat that down as well. For my foundation, I am using the Wet and Wild Photo Focus. It's the dewy formulation. They also do a matte. This is my absolute favorite at the moment. It is, I think, comparable to Dior. It's just got that luxury feel to it and it's around about $5.99. You can't go wrong. I'm in the shade Soft Beige. I am quite a pale blonde. Um, if I was tan and had a bit of a tan in the summer, I would probably go down a shade, um, but this is perfect for right now. I'm going to use my fingers because this is quick and easy, no messing around. I haven't got my brushes all in here today. Next, I'm going to use a bit of bronzer. I'm going to use the Chanel Les Beige. It is a little bit more pricey. I can't say that I think it's better than some of the regular drugstore ones. And I've got my bronzer brush, pop that on and just bring my face back to life. That's that. Now let's do my eyes. So I'm going to use a Max Factor quad palette. I like this palette, it's lovely. It's all the lavenders, the purples. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to use the top two here just to create the illusion of more space. And I think I learned this from Wayne Goss, who you will know is a wonderful makeup artist in the UK. So I'm tapping into both of those shades. I don't want it too dark. And I'm going to apply my shadow quite high up on my eye. What I don't want to do is bring it too far down because that will give the illusion of a heavy lid. I want to create the illusion of more space. Put a little bit of irritation on this eye so it looks a little bit red. So if it looks a bit darker on my shadow, that's why. I'm applying a matte, very nude shadow just up on my brow bone. You hear my stomach? Oh my goodness, I really am quite hungry. I've started going back to intermittent fasting and I'm looking at doing animal based. I've been looking at carnivore, um, the carnivore diet, and I think because I've done keto before, I think I'm going to try animal based and I thought I would do a video on that. We can talk about that together. Have any of you tried the animal based diet? The animal based differs to carnivore. Carnivore, of course, is exactly as it says. It's um, animal meats, uh, eggs and raw milk, I think. I think you get your dairy um, with very little else. Whereas animal based, it's all of that. Plus you can have berries, avocado, um, you can have um, fermented sauerkraut, cabbage, that type of thing. So I am interested in that. So let me know in the comments if you've tried it and how you got on. And let me know if you'd like a video on what I'm doing to really help with my weight during this menopause period of my life. Right, next I'm going to line just along my lash line. I'm going to do that off camera because there's no way I can do it with you girls watching. 
The mascara I'm using is the Maybelline Sensational. It is such a good mascara. I really love it for its wand, its spoolie. It works so well. So it's got a long side and a short side. So the short side is really good for your short ears and getting the product on and the long side will give you lots of length. I will do that off camera too. So that's my mascara. I do love mascara. It completely changes your face. Now I'm going to do my brows and my blush and we're nearly there. So for my brows, I'm going to use an IT Cosmetic double-ended stick. It is brow power, a little spoolie, and then we have the pencil on the end. I need to get myself another one of these. I really like this brow pencil. It's super soft, super easy to use. Just brush it through your brows, and then when you then brush through with the spoolie, it just is a lovely powdery finish, nothing too heavy. Of course, you can build it if you really want to. I'm not about to build thick brows today. Just a quick brush through will do. I've got a pal that does microblading and she's incredibly good. And she keeps asking if she can do my brows. <laughs> And I've said no, I am just too worried about having a tattoo on my face because essentially that's what it is. Microblading is a tattoo. Um, and um, my tattoo experience isn't the best. I have a tattoo that I had on my big toe many years ago and it was supposed to be a little gecko and it now looks like a, fro a frog. <laughs> or squashed. It looks like roadkill. There's no getting around it. It's literally blurred. It's green. It's very, very ugly. So I'm really hesitant to have a tattoo on my brows. Okay, next thing is my blush. I use a NYX blush. This one is called Daydream. It's such a beautiful colour. I'm going to pop it in the apples of my cheeks and then sweep it right up high into my temple area. So this technique gives you a little bit of youthful glow. That kind of, you know, when you were a kid and you were out and you were playing in the yard and then you came in, you had really good rosy cheeks. That's what I'm after today, a little bit of that. So it's very pigmented, this NYX. It's really, really good. I think it is quite similar to NARS, but uh, don't quote me on that. You don't need a lot. A lot goes, a little goes a long way. For my lips, I'm going to do my absolute fave. This is Cherry Kiss by Max Factor. It is a, a cool red, more pinky, kind of raspberry, I suppose. And this is a strawberry pink liner from Revolution. Just line my lips. I've got wonky lips, so this will compensate. A little bit of powder just to take down the shine on my chin, my nose, in the middle of my forehead, and just around my eye area. So that's it, ladies. I've done my makeup. Thank goodness. I definitely feel better than I did from when I started. Let me know about the animal-based diet. Let me know if you've done it, carnivore, all of that stuff. I'm super interested in giving it a go. I think I'm going to do a 30 days and I'll vlog it. And yeah, it might be really interesting to see how that works for me. I have done intermittent fasting. I am a yoga teacher, although I have fallen off that wagon. Why? I don't know why I've done that. But you know how it is. Life gets in the way. We get a little bit lazy. Definitely in the winter time, I don't move as much as I do in the summer and that needs to change. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, perhaps give it a thumbs up and think about sharing it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I bring content like this every single week for women over 50 to help you not only look good, but to feel fabulous. Until the next video, bye for now.